Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I'm a second year biomedical science student at Singapore Polytechnic. As this video is being filmed, it's the week before school starts and most of us are not ready to head back, especially after the entire year has been spent at home and it's pretty much like we forgot how it's like to go back to school. So in today's video, I'm going to try and better ready us all for school with the 10 things that we should all do before the school starts. I'll flash all the points that I mentioned as timestamps right now. They'll be linked as timestamps in the description and in the pinned comment, so feel free to skip around the video to the parts that most interest you. But without any delay, let's get on with the first thing that you need to do before the school term. Now, the first thing that you need to do is change the way you watch Netflix. Now, don't click away yet. I know this is an unconventional one. You probably never heard of it before. But with this Netflix one, it's basically to stop watching series and only watch movies. Now, you may be wondering, don't movies last longer than episode in series? But let's be honest. How many times have you watched an episode of a series and only watched a few episodes? In fact, watching a movie actually helps you save time in the long run because putting on a movie just for dinner and timing yourself to a 90 minute dinner break and once the movie ends, you head back to study. So that's why you only stick to movies and don't pick up any new series before the new school semester starts. The second thing that all students should do before the new polytechnic semester is to clear out all the old stuff. Now, I don't want to say it, but does it spark joy? But in all seriousness, you should look through all your old files and get rid of everything. Now what you can do is, and what I do is, you take your semester file and you take out all the notes from that subject and you try and put it in a massive file that you can buy at your local bookstore and then you compile all the different notes and you just arrange them based on the modules that you took them. So you always have a copy but then it's not in your individual subject folders before the start of the new semester. You would also want to clear out your bag or even better, wash it. You know, with bag with all the sweaty stuff. Lastly. You would want to tidy up that table, make sure that it's nice to come back to. In fact, what I do every day is pack up the table before I go to sleep. It's a really nice process of unwinding before going to sleep and it helps you be happier when you come back to study the next day because you have a tidy table and it makes coming back to study a lot more enjoyable than having a messy table. And that's one of the more important things that you need to do before the start of the new semester and it's to get rid of all the old stuff and to make sure your table is clean to welcome the new semester. Now the third thing that we need to do is to fix your sleep schedule. Now I know everybody knows that this is important, but so I'll try and give you some tips. So one of the tips that I use to fix my broken body clock is to set a strict sleep timetable a few days before. If it's time to sleep and you're not tired, some of the things that you can do is maybe go down and play some sports one hour before going to sleep. So going for a quick jog to tire yourself out. Another thing is to not drink coffee because coffee messes with your sleep cycle. So rather just let your body fall asleep naturally. But that's about it on how we can fix our sleep schedule. We all know how important it is to fix our sleep schedule to ensure that we can go to school with a fresh mind and able to absorb all the lecture content instead of going to school as sleep deprived zombies. Now, the fourth thing that all students should do before going back for polytechnic in the new semester is to know your timetable. Now, this is especially targeted to all the freshies who are going back to school for the first time. Knowing your timetable is really important, especially for this new semester like in SP, where your lectures are at home, tutorials are at school, and lab is at school. So you need to know where you can stay at home and when you can come out and camp at the library to prepare for the next class. Knowing your timetable also helps you study better because you know where you have pockets of space and pockets of time where you can piece together study sessions or periods of time where you can relax and go for CCAs or sign up for extra activities. And this leads me to my next point. So as mentioned in my previous point, we all know that we need to know our timetable so that we can figure out periods of space to study and periods of space where we can do fun activities. And this leads me to my next point go and search out for new opportunities. So this can come in the form of a CCA. So just scroll onto the SP page, go on to Student Life and look for your dream CCA. If you found one that you like, go search their Instagram page and check out the fun activities you do. If it's something that you like, you can just approach them and you can use the school system to sign up or you can just email them or DM them on Instagram. I'm sure that they have people running it. If you haven't found a CCA that you like, it's fine. What you can do is look up for emails that offer exciting opportunities. Some of the stuff that I signed up for are overseas community service trips, weekly children reading and volunteering, Youth Model ASEAN Conference and SG Youth 100 Leaders Conference. These activities are all really fun and can actually take up long periods of commitment so you can fill up all the free spaces that you have in Polytechnic and make your Polytechnic portfolio and life more enriching. So now point number six is having a task recording system. And now I want to introduce an idea in the productivity world called Quick Capture. 
I first introduced the idea of quick capture in my previous video on 10 apps that all students should have, which I'll link somewhere around here. But quick capture basically operates on the principle that whatever information that you get, you quickly put it in the system so that you don't have to remember it. So this works especially well for tasks that you get. So for example, at the end of the lesson, your lecturer gives you 10 tasks, lab reports, assignments, group meetings, this meeting, that meeting, and you put all of these stuff into your task management tool. So whenever it's in, you can rest assured because you know, so long as you've typed it in and you've kept to this system, it will be in your memory because you can always check back to this list whenever you need to. Point number seven is to prep your brain. So let's admit it. Most of us during the holiday hasn't spent time studying. So what you should do is definitely try and restart the gears in your brain. What I do is watch crash course videos or any one of the YouTube videos that are related to my topics that I learned in the previous semester. Another way that you can do is just read a book. It's that simple, just read a book, train your brain to actively recall information and go through the process of reading and remembering information. This will really help you in your new semester so you don't have to kickstart your gear with the first lecture and find yourself absolutely shocked at the speed that your lecture is going at. So this is point number seven. Point number eight of the things that you should do before the start of a new polytechnic semester is have a study playlist. So at this point, you have all the physical stuff ready for school, whether it's planning out and cleaning up your table or mentally preparing your brain. But now you need to do something that makes studying enjoyable for the next semester. So this is one very crucial thing that you should have. Now, I know there's some evidence behind music distracting you during studying, but the music that I suggest you listening to are maybe some low fi sci-fi, whatever beats that they have, or you can go on YouTube and search for jazz music, or like me, you can listen to instrumental music. So the playlist that I use is called Study With Jerry, which I created. And it's an instrumental playlist from films and TV shows and it also includes a bit of Disney, so that's always nice. I use this playlist exclusively whenever I study, as you can see in my Study With Me vlogs. It makes the process of studying just a little bit more enjoyable, as when you're studying and your favorite song comes on, you can just bob your head along to the music, but not to the extent of you shouting out the lyrics and affecting what you're studying. So if you do want to listen to it, I'll leave the link in the description down below. But if you don't have Spotify, you have two options. One, just get Spotify. Even if you don't want to pay for the premium subscription, you can just get the free version with ads coming up. But if you don't want to use the Spotify method, I'll leave another playlist from YouTube that also has ads that's quite similar to my playlist. So now you have two options, but definitely create your own and curate your own. The last two points are arguably similar and they're actually the two most important points in this entire video. And the first one is to just reflect on the previous semester. So you can start by asking yourself questions like, am I happy with the way that I performed in school last semester? What are some of the things that I did well? What are some of the things I need to improve on? I'll leave a link to a document that's all the questions that I used, so feel free to go over it and copy and paste those into your own workflow and do your own reflection. It's only through this reflection process where we can look back at the previous semester and learn from our mistakes if there were any. And if you did some things well, we need to learn how we can translate this over to the new semester and carry this on. And now I'll move on to my next point about setting goals. Setting goals is a continuation of reflection. Only after reflection can you set new goals. And these goals can be anything but not limited to just academic. So some of these goals could be to put yourself out there more and make new friends, or it could be get a better GPA, get more involved in school, or maybe start a new YouTube channel. The idea is that whatever goals you set are personal to you and there are things that you want to achieve with this new time and new semester in school. And with these goals, they set the basis for you to do the reflection at the end of this semester so they can continuously improve yourself and get a more enjoyable time in Polytechnic. One way that I use to remind myself of these goals and you can use as well, is to write them out and put them in your study table on your wall or somewhere near you where you'll see every day. Now these give you an extra push whenever you're feeling a bit down and help make you happier and make the whole study process just a little bit more fun as you always remember your final destination and some of the goals that you set for yourself. So just think of it as a challenge and what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And so those are the 10 things that you should do before the start of the new polytechnic semester. Now I do hope that you found some of these things useful and you can start off your new semester with a bang. In this video, I did mention GPA and how you can set goals to push up your GPA. If you are interested in how you can push up your GPA, I did do a video on how I use a study workflow to get my first 4.0 GPA. So if that sounds moderately interesting, I'll link the video here and in the description. So do check that out. If you're new to a school or haven't really gotten a chance to experience polytechnic life as you are fresh and have stayed at home the entire semester, I'll leave a playlist here where I go through some of the lessons I learned in Polytechnic, so hopefully that will help you out. But this brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Alternatively, you can email me or message me on Instagram. All details will be in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.